Hi, this is a special presentation of Supersports 360 with me, Yasmin. Hey, the European Tour is in Asia, stopping by Singapore for the Championship at Laguna National, previously known as the Ballantines Championship. It was scheduled to be played in South Korea, but less than a month ago, the tournament was shifted to Singapore because of staging issues. The championship is here this year, but can we expect it to stay longer? Suresh Kumar finds out. Three weeks. That's all the time Laguna National Golf and Country Club had to make the Masters course fit for a European Tour event. It could have been easy for what is usually a tip-top course, if Singapore hadn't just experienced one of its longest ever dry spells. That took a toll on the course, but you can barely tell at the Pro-Am event. Singapore had the worst drought that it's had in 300 years, but we've managed to primarily overcome a lot of those, get the course in reasonably acceptable condition by our standards. The players will have firm playing conditions, the greens will be great, and there'll be the odd brown spot in the fairway, but nothing they haven't seen before. The championship has always been played in South Korea since its inception in 2008. That's until this year. And representatives from the various golf clubs in Korea are in Singapore trying to win back the event. Decisions are yet to be made. Yet David Siklitera, chairman of event promoter Parallel Media Group, believes Singapore has its advantages. European tour players love coming to Singapore. Singapore's a, a great location. It's, as you know, the Jubilee year next year, so I think it's very important. You have a great ladies golf tournament here, it's very important to have a men's golf tournament. And so we'll be working very hard to see if we can keep this tournament here for the next five years. If the event remains in the city, Laguna National have an agreement with promoters to keep it at the club. European tour events coming by Singapore benefit local golfers like Martin Mamad, who won on this very course at the Singapore Masters in 2006. It's always nice to play uh, in your, your home soil, your home. I mean, you got to sleep on your own bed. It's always, always nice to come back and play. Like 2006, 2006, you win, you win a big event here. You, you kind of go away from in your mind, you know. Every time you step the golf course, you see the golf course. I win here before, so I think that's that's uh, that's the one that you want to be when you when you grow 70 or 60. Your grandchildren will say, "Oh, I win, my grandfather win here before." The 1.88 million prize fund event has no title sponsor this year, and the roping in of a big sponsor from next year could well swing any decision in Singapore's favour. There are plans to revive the Singapore Open this year after the 2013 edition was cancelled due to a lack of sponsors. Add that to the championship here at Laguna National and for the first time in a year, we're going to have two European Tour co-sanctioned events. Hopefully, we can retain those numbers and they work towards bringing in more world-class events to our shores. For Super Sports 360, I'm Suresh Kumar trying out a buggy for the very first time. Signing out here from Laguna National. Well, he drives off into the sunset, but we don't go anywhere. Super Sports 360 hits you every day at 7pm on Channel 201. Please join us then.